Ashkin, I'm saying check it out. Now, conflicting stories. As we try to figure out what the fuck happened with 6 9 this morning, supposedly getting robbed, beaten, pistol whipped, kidnapped, okay, and sent to the hospital, try to figure out what happened. The police, and now the police report is kind of becoming available because it has been filed. Apparently, the details of what TMZ is saying is a little bit different from the police report, okay? Apparently, Takashi told a version of the story to the cops that don't match up with what TMZ was saying, okay? Now, uh, there's trying to say that, hey, listen, man, the stories probably don't match up because obviously you're a rapper. You can't be looking like you know bitch, but it kind of reveals that TMZ sources might be 6 9 people. I don't know. Okay, okay, anyway, let me just get to the police report. Police report is saying this, all right, that around 4.25 a.m., and from what I was told, I got a little bit more information, he was not shooting more scenes to the music video. The music video was done. Nikki's in it. They shot in L.A., okay? He wasn't shooting more footage for the music video because it's not a hood music video, so it really didn't require him being around the streets of Brooklyn, okay? Now, apparently, he was editing it with his team, okay? Now, for whatever or however or where that was being done, clearly, he was not as a crip. Now, this is where the difference in stories is coming in. Because they're saying he was sitting in the vehicle. Then, apparently, his vehicle was bumped by somebody at a red light. Apparently, the guys who bumped him from behind, the vehicle, of course, uh, they jumped out of the car with two dudes with guns. They stole the driver's iPhone, grabbed 6 9 and dragged him into their car and sped away. Apparently, uh, and this is according to law enforcement, this is what is being said on their police report. They're saying that they then went to 6 9s crib and he called somebody at his crib, maybe his baby mama who was staying with them, and say, yo, come bring down the jewelry, because these niggas about to kill me if I don't give it up, okay? Now, here's the thing, and by the way, I'll point out some inconsistencies in the story. I, listen, I don't know, this is so, it sounds, sounds odd, right? Just because usually if a nigga's robbing you, they're not robbing you and basically saying, hey, get on the phone and tell somebody to go get the cash, Okay, and perhaps maybe that was 6 ix only alternative at 425 if somebody wants cash or a large lump sum because he's not walking around with a lot of money. And the most expensive thing he owns is his jewelry collection, which was supposedly worth a million. Okay, now if you tell me, and again, again, I am just literally Monday morning quarterbacking and I haven't spoken to him directly yet. If somebody's saying, yo, call somebody else to get the money and they got your gunpoint. You're going to send some subtle hints like, bro, I, I don't really want to do this. You know what I mean? The person who's getting called is probably going to say, yo, wait, why are you telling me to bring all your shit downstairs to a car? Who knows? Okay, but that's what's being reported by the cops. All right? Now, after the person brought whatever down to the vehicle, uh, he then was able to escape after they drove off shortly after. All right? Now, they're saying that 6 9 has not been cooperating with the cops anymore, and he checked himself into the hospital, but they say they don't know how he was injured, okay? So the cops are saying they didn't hear any reports of injuries, but they're saying 6 9 checked into the hospital, and he's injured. So there's a inconsistency with what's going on. Now, what I could tell what's going on is that 6 9 needs official security even when he's at home, all right, back to what I said last video, uh, 6 9 the way he rolls in LA, obviously he learned because he can't roll with a bunch of gang members, you don't want to do the check it in thing, you're going to roll with security, in a New York, it's straight away shit, he's not really rolling with people like that, he's rolling with his gang, now, of course, your gang is not a security group, okay, like, yeah, you're the meal ticket, but they're not going to be around you every waking minute of the day, and sometimes you may not want them to be around you, right? Now, again, because of these situations, you're going to be exposed, and you could be lacking your own city. We saw X, he died in his own state. So, again, while we try to figure out which is a real story, and obviously I'm doing this report to say there's two stories that exist, one that said they called him at his crib, Another one that said they caught him in traffic. Who knows what the truth is, but apparently he was robbed. Apparently he is in a hospital, and apparently he checked himself in. All right, 
we'll see what turns out from this. But um, apparently he's also uncooperative. So I don't know if I'll hear anything. Or I'll probably hear some, some stuff. But whatever I hear, I'll be able to report to y'all. Or I'll make sure I can report it to y'all. Okay. Get a comment. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Witch Academics. It's Sunday, man. Does Coonery take a break? <laughs>